The owners of the historic home have opened their doors to tours. There, visitors can enjoy both the gardens and the unusual collection of items at the Belvedere Mansion in Galena. The Belvedere was commissioned by J. Russell Jones. It took three years to build it. This is an Italian version of the Victorian era. It was finished and he took possession in 1857. J. Russell Jones was a 17-year-old orphan who was raised in Ohio. He arrived here and when he saw the shipping, he decided this is a way to make a living. Before he reached his 30th birthday, he was a millionaire. The legend is anything that moved on the river, he owned it or he controlled it. When this home was opened in 1857, this home became a central point for many of the leading people of this town. Grant met here with many of the community people. In fact, it was Grant's influence which eventually led Lincoln to ask Jones of this house to become ambassador to Belgium. This is the library. Its main feature is the Italian hand-carved marble fireplace. In front of it are two white chairs. They were from the presidency of Teddy Roosevelt. The most popular artifact is the drapes from Gone with the Wind. These are the drapes that hung in terra, and one pair was used to make that famous green dress that Scarlet wore. In this painting, this woman is wearing what was called a prosperity dress. During the time period about 1870, England, and especially London, England, was going through a severe recession. People were literally dying. The designer of this dress wanted to show that this lady could afford food so that what might look like pregnancy is to show that she has a full stomach. In this dining room, we have the Sheraton table. It has three large pods of legs, which enables a person to make it into three separate tables or any combinations that you wish. These are two black moors, hand carved, hand painted, and gold leafed. They come from Morocco, Northern Africa. Also, we have a gold uh, cabinet. When first looking at it, people think that it is a phonograph, but actually it was very dear to Liberace as this kept his sheet music. This is a Tiffany lamp that is signed and dated. In the world of Tiffany, it's unusual because of the large base and also of the free hanging grape clusters. This is the morning room. The story was that the mistress, when she left her, her bedroom, would go there and sit down and she would enjoy a light lunch, review the menus for the day and what the 12 servants were going to do. You may notice two large faces they are from Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France. Also, you'll see a very large platter on top of the table. That, too, is from Marie Antoinette. Whatever is your preference in art, you'll be happy to find beautiful portraits, artwork, uh, statuary, anything that you like in the area of art. One of the things that many times visitors have a hard time understanding is this is an active house. The owners do live here and have lived here since 1970 and they very graciously allow people to come to visit. And for more information about the Belvedere Mansion, call 815-777-0747 or go to their website at www.galenabelvederemansion.com.